Yeah, hi all. As um, the uh, coronavirus has hit us all, um, got a lot of uh, spare time the weekends and evenings, so I thought I'd do, do some work on the DeLorean stuff that I wasn't necessarily planning on doing, but I thought, you know what, got time, might as well do it. So yeah, the first thing is the front and rear fascias. Now, as you see here, these are silver. Normally they're um, a much sort of much darker sort of anthracite sort of colour or maybe dark silver, but certainly not this silver. But my car came with um, bumpers uh, this colour. So I thought, you know what, I'll leave them as they are. You know, it kind of makes my car stand out from um, other DeLoreans, you know, which isn't, isn't necessarily a bad thing at all. So, yep, so these, my ones actually had um, some damage literally here and some more damage just roughly there. So two blatant, blatant patches and a few sort of other, few other sort of light, very light cracks in the, in the plastic. So what I did is I just um, rubbed it all down, um, got rid of those, rid of those marks and then basically just primed it, used um, some silver paint that I found that was good. That's in the owner shop, of course, it's actually open at the moment in lockdown. It hadn't had enough supply, so we've got a number of cans of that, um, as well as lacquer as well. So, yeah, rubbed it down, sprayed it, masked it all up, of course, sprayed it, um, let it all dry, lacquered it, and then that's it. And obviously, you can rub your hand over it, you can clearly feel that it does need cutting, but I know you meant to sort of let it cut, you know, after a few a good few days of, of hardening and drying out. So, what I'll do is I'll give it a week. And then I'll start rubbing it down with, you know, I'll check online, but I think it's a sort of 2000, 4000 style. And then sort of buff, buffing it with the, the compound to get it um, smooth. But otherwise, I'm really pleased with it. It looks really, really good. Way better than how it used to look. Um, I've also fitted the outer time plate on the front. As you know, I can't really drive anywhere. I've also ordered a set of, um, of this, effectively this spec number plates from States Plates, which I think is in France. So obviously my registration with the out of time just below, but the California style plate. So I know that's illegal, probably in the UK. You know, it can't really be totally legal, can it? But you know what? I love these plates and I thought it looked really cool. So ordered a set, ordered a set of those beauties. So that's that. Next thing, uh, the bonnet. So you close it. So before I had a blatantly much bigger um, gap between the bonnet here and the wing so now as you can sort of see it's it's, it's very very reasonable so what i did let me open the bonnet um i checked the um bonnet catch even when i filed it down that's the lowest position it could go but even if you removed that the bot the bonnet just would not sit any lower because of things like the seals just would not go any lower so the only way to do it I found them, so I peeled off this, and effectively you can just insert more washers uh, underneath the mounting points, which are long here. So I started off with inserting like a, a washer at the end, a washer there, then two, then two roughly, then three, then three, something along those lines. And I, um, you can't see underneath here, but also then you brought some longer stainless steel um, bolts with the Allen key fittings on top to replace the old sort of eight mil, I think they're eight mil, seven or eight mil bolts, which were a bit bit crusty, generally speaking. So underneath there it's nice and it says just raise up that little bit extra here but also i did had to do it sort of evenly you know just so, so it didn't sort of damage or anything so it flowed nicely and all that so that's a good job there's a hoverboard obviously homemade and all that and the camera so about you know, i'm much more pleased with that because that was a really obvious thing before it was it was kind of like obviously not that wasn't that bad but it was you know it was blatantly obvious that there was an, an alignment issue and the bonnet couldn't be adjusted, so it only had to be done via the wings. It's done that. Um, I repaired this. Now obviously there's a lump here. Uh, I'm going to take that out actually and see if I can find a, a lighter bit of carpet. But um, that's actually, that is actually a piece of carpet from, from the underside, so it's, it's obviously just much darker underneath there for some reason. Not sure why. Either way, I glued it back together again. That was in about six or seven pieces. Um, glued it together again, cleaned the carpet, terms, literally super glued it, fixed it with um, bits of um, plastic from a plastic bottle on the back. And at least now I've got cover, so it's way better than what I had before, which was a homemade job. Um, but yeah, I definitely need to sort that out, because on the camera actually it looks really much sort of worse than what it is. But it's just a sort of slightly different sh shade of uh, grey, you know, which is a bit weird. Maybe it's just because it's, it's not clean. So that's that. 
um, go around the back. So I've also repainted the back as well. So this one here had a bit of damage here at, at some point. So I, when I first got my DeLorean, I managed to repair this section here. It's just sort of crazy. It was sort of crazed. It wasn't sort of smashed in or anything. It just had some form of impact. So it's a bit crazed. So actually originally I painted just that little one section there. So I've now rubbed it all back down again and got the whole thing. Obviously the match in the front, so it's all uniform, looks spot on. Um, and also it took me ages to get this sort of, you know, you see this, this line here between, the nice even line here. It took me ages because this little section here was sort of very uneven where it had some sort of very light damage to the, um, to the black here. So I had to get some sort of special um, black filler basically a tiny bit just to fill in little, little notches which are about here somewhere then rub it down then blacken it using that um, sort of matte exhaust black just tiny bit of paint then blend in you know in various different stages of sandpaper and then obviously um, respray all of this and then that, that just took ages to get that, that line you know to this sort of standard I wanted I want that line when I looked at it from any angle you know to look Good. Not like mint. I mean, also I like to be mint, but I just want it to look good. And now I can look at that now and I can think, yeah, that line across there, you know, looks sweet. So that's that. Again, I still need to rub down the uh, other bit as well on here, you know, and um, compound it, etc. Now you see here, I, I used to have um, spoiler mounted on this, not when I got the car, but pre pr the prior owner, the person who um, had, it, had it in Canada, had a, some sort of spoiler on the back. Didn't, didn't arrive to England with it. And I didn't really want to rub this down too much because I didn't want to damage anything and have to then find it or find that that goes gray and the rest of it's black. You know, and then have to re and then have to maybe, for example, repaint it all. So I thought, you know what, I'll just leave that as it is. I'll just, I'll just use my back to black on it. But obviously it had those two holes here. So before I had a little rubber grommet in there. Now I've got something better. I've got a nice black stainless steel screw. Sorry, it's a stainless steel screw that I, I saw. I painted um, a uh, gloss black. And underneath here, pr prior to this, this part here, as you can see, used to used to hit on here. So there was always a rub mark just there. So I don't want that to happen this time. I did try adjusting the hinge over there, but couldn't get that. Couldn't quite get it, you know, right. This side here, there's only a, about a two mil gap roughly between here and here. So I didn't, you know, so I wasn't able to adjust it. So what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd make use of the holes already there and put in a bolt, stainless steel, stainless steel, bit of heat shrink on the end. When that closes now, it now closes onto this black piece here and just stops it absolutely perfect. So it locks in. Um, this part here no longer touches this pit here. Doesn't touch there on there, doesn't touch on the other side. Goes down perfectly, it does. So it goes down to lock like that. And that's now locked and now nothing is resting on there. You can sort of see just through there. I've got a few few mils gap, which is cool. So that's that little modification done. And obviously, it fills in the holes and looks a lot better. Um, and then obviously, I've just given the car a bit of a clean as well. And that's all for now. And obviously, I've obviously I've ordered the number plate as well, the California number plate for the back, because you know this one just doesn't fit. It's all right. It does not fit quite right. And you can see that. You know, it's a it's a bit too tall, so you can't see the top of the letters there. You can only just about see the bottom there if you have the camera at an angle. So, it's it's fine, but you know what? Spare time for me makes you makes you look at things differently. And there we go. So yeah, that's what that's what I've been up to. So I give it a week, and then I'll start to then um, I'll check on the internet, see what I need to do, and I'll, I'll order the relevant. Sort of cutting compound and ultra fine sandpaper, and then go from there. Excellent. Cheers.